morning friends so um i'm gonna be filming a new video if you saw my snap you know that um i just wanted to say that i waited in line at starbucks this morning for me and phoenix and got two large drinks i get a Venti soy vanilla latte with three extra pumps of vanilla. But, anyways, the person in front of me paid for both my drinks, so like that was so nice. Um, so I'm gonna get on Pinterest and look for some looks. Look for some looks. Um, probably gonna be using my new Jacqueline Hill palette, Volume Two, because I love her and she's my favorite palette. To exist right now. So I wanted to tell you guys something really funny I did. Um, it's actually not that funny anymore, but I'm kind of upset. But um, on Facebook there was an ad that came up for this glitter palette, and like in the video, it looks so good. So I went to buy it, and it's like a create your own palette and everything. And then my dumbass didn't realize that it was in like uk dollars and so it ended up being like 60 something dollars for this little guy and i mean the glitter's cute but let me swatch like this teal one like you'd think it would be really good like what in the poopy juice is that like and then uh, i mean it it will be It'll be fine with glitter primer, but disappointment. But I might use this in one of my looks today. Okay, so picked out my outfit. I wish this would stay up a little more. And now I am ready to start with my face. So first, always wear sunscreen. I use this Hawaiian Tropic Weightless Face 30 SPF. And really, you only need like a chocolate chip size. That's barely like a pea size, probably. And then I just rub it in, rub it in my face. Next, I'm going to use That's Elf uh, Putty Primer, Poreless Putty Primer. My bad. Don't mind my boyfriend in the back. He's playing games. Phase one. So then I just kind of take like a little bit like this. For like each yeah. section of my face, so like each cheek, forehead, and chin. I'm gonna blend that in. I'm really gonna make sure that I get it like where my pores bother me, which is right under my eyes and around my nose. My chin pores. I don't really notice my pores on my head but i do get acne there so you know whatever you know what really frustrates me is that i got copyrighted for my last video and i get it's not my music but like i could cover up phoenix yelling in the background with some good music now it's just weird Alright guys, so I saw this on Instagram yesterday. I usually just take this thing and dab it if you watch some of my other videos and just then like rub it in with my finger. But I watched this girl and she took a lot and just really literally just outlined the brow with all that. Oh my gosh, it's so much. I feel wrong. And then she even took it out in here and then just spreads it even past the eye too which i guess it really makes sense because like then it just gives more coverage out there for your extended eyeshadow okay it's kind of cakey and then she kind of like patted it patted it in This is what it looks like, but honestly, now that I'm looking at the camera, this looks about right. This looks about Jeffree Star type of shit. So, other eye Now I have a little mask of concealer. Okay, but I forgot to say, um, so I use the e.l.f. 
hydrating, you can't even see it, hydrating camo concealer. Um, I was using the 16 hour camo concealer, but it dries really fast. So this just works better for me. Plus like I need hydration in my skin, especially when I wear a lot of makeup. So y'all yeah, go, um, next we're going to go with the palette. Oh my god, it looks so weird. So I put tape, just some clear scotch tape right here because um, the look I chose is more of a winged look. Um, so this is how I keep mine per so precise. Other people can like go through afterwards and clean it up with concealer, but I like to be easy about it, so. So the look that I chose is a little bronzy, um, actually it's really bronzy, uh, uh, I kind of chose this look, um, but I'm not just going to use my Jaclyn Hill palette, which it does have a great selection of, like, bronzes, but my M, don't mind how dirty it is, my Morphe M35, has a lot more um, of the darker colors that I need for this look. So, first, I'm gonna go in with a bronze one. Let me pick it. If you're anything like me and you hate wasting makeup wipes for like just cleaning up eyeliner, and you're like, really, I gotta use a whole makeup wipe, just clean up my eyeliner. I actually save them if they're not too dirty and then I let them dry out and I use them to wipe my brushes on. So, decided first, I'm gonna go in with this one. Um, I don't know what the shade name is because I'm a bad person and I threw it away like the little shade name thing um yeah, and then i'm just gonna use this brush that i got from boxy charm um yeah, for sure. moda pro yes it's a crease one so i'm just gonna go in with my crease hope you guys can see me i like to start on the outer and then blend it in this one I want to go pretty high up, like pretty close to my brow bone. So I am going to bring it all the way up there. Eventually I will get better stuff. Um, as I was saying, if you've watched some of my other videos, um, I'm like just now starting off. So I'll get better, I'll have better quality if this works out, but I don't want to spend all that money if like this is going to be like a little stupid thing where nobody watches my stuff and like it doesn't take off like i hope it does so um this is what it looks like i'm loving how sparkly it is you guys can't see the sparkles that's sad see this is why i need a better quality camera so this is step one so in the picture i'm going off of above the brow is like a white color so i'm going to go in with the certified in the morphe jaclyn hill palette no fucking way certified for Let's see. so now i'm just going to hold this right here i'm just gonna blend it in along my brow Let me go on with this dark brown color. I'm just going to put it um, right here and then I'm going to bring it right, just right into the crease. Right so I'm going to kind of just blend it out, shadow it. I don't even know what I'm trying to say about that smoky eye type of thing. Right, here we go. So um, when I do it on the outer corner like this, I like to first just kind of tap it and place it like where I want. Cause sometimes I go a little too, too crazy. It does go in about a fourth in. I'm just gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. Can't even tell in this light. Okay, there's that, and then for the crease. For the crease, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush because um, in the picture, it just really shows just in the crease for the dark brown. So I'm just going... I mean, one person's watching it, you know? They're 
you're pushing A. Do my A. Do my No. No, no, no. No. So with eyeshadow, you can usually just get it off with your finger, which is nice. <laughs> Next, I am going to go in with, oh, I think I'm going to do this Ride or Diamonds in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette Volume 2, and I am just going to put it right here where I haven't put anything yet, so for that, I am going to use like a flatter brush so I can just kind of pat it in there, because that is my favorite way to do it, just wipe it off my brush again because I'm unprepared. Oops, really gonna, oh, no way, nothing even going on my brush hold on okay so a trick is take your uh shadows more pigmented you just spray your yeah. brush a little bit yeah. and then there's four months left behind them what the fuck do you mean the freak get on there boy i don't know this isn't really working i'm a little Where disappointed just like not even getting on the brush. Dude, they, this team knows that our team is fucking dark shit. They're not even looking for pants now, they're just rushing. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Drama Queen now because that one's not really working. Okay, better. Better. Like that. So next thing, um, I'm really excited to use this. I finally got some white liquid eyeliner. This is NYX uh, Epic Wear Waterproof. I didn't really need to. I thought this was a pen, but it's like one that you paint on. So let's see how this goes. And the tape really helps with making precise liner. very hard because in the work I'm doing like it's just the outline of the wing in white and I keep not making it thin enough so take like five. Oh my gosh it's all over my lashes <laughs> well I think that's what we're getting It looks like poop right now, but it hopefully it will look better once I take the tape off. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. One eye is always better than the other one. And if you're gonna put lashes on, you can usually save her if they're not perfect. Like, what in the freak? Let's see. I feel it looks better when I take the tape off. What is it? Oh my god, dang eyelash. Okay, so the the liner is good. Okay, so I'm gonna put some lashes on next and we'll see if we can save this. So, um, I have two things to tell you. One, um, I totally forgot to tell you guys that I said to do this, but um, it really helps if you put on chapstick, you put, like in the beginning of your routine, because by the end of your routine, um, your lips will be hydrated so they won't be like creasy for your lipstick or whatever um and also i can never tell people what kind of lashes i use because i don't really know what the brand is i order these on ebay and i get three pairs for about um like five bucks so yeah this is what it looks like i don't know if fashion's the brand but like i said okay ladies when putting on lashes you need to measure them to your eye so as you can see whoa weird this one it would literally go all the way into my inner corner which is only going to start popping up and stabbing me so i'm going i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm just gonna cut like this little chunk off and i'm gonna do that to both with um little scissors see these little guys are sneaky oh jeez got them both okay so i'm gonna show you how to put on sharp eyelashes 
my grandma always asks me to do a video on how to do this. So I use Duo Lash Glue. Um, that's upside down. Duo. Um, you can get it at Target for sure, and I think probably Walmart too. Sorry, I had lash. Um, so like sometimes it dries at the top. You just pop that off. So when I'm putting the glue on, I don't like too much because I don't want it to seep out of where it needs to be. So I'm just gonna put that dot. I'm gonna spread it all across the lash line until it's all just evenly covered. Not too much. Like it's just enough. Okay, I'm ready for this. So then I, some people use like the little clip thingies that come with some like Ardell lashes and stuff like that. I just like to use my finger. It is harder with nails and it is way harder on the camera. So I'm just sticking it right above my lashes starting at my uh, outer corner and then I go to my inner, or I mean my middle. And then for the inner, you really have to like, Make sure that when it sticks, it's where it needs to be. And then I just kind of secure the whole lash, just tapping it to make sure it is stuck on. I'm a little unhappy with this white eyeliner because it got all over my lashes. I already put mascara on and like you can still see it. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I know on this side you can still see it. Look, it got up there. It got up there. Like it doesn't dry fast. It's like paint. Yeah, whatever. So can I, guys. Also, I forgot to say the first time. You can, if you feel like you put a little bit more glue and usually if like if I wasn't making a video, and I already had time to get a little bit tacky, I would blow on it first because when it's tacky, it doesn't like slide anywhere, it just sticks right on, so. Just for about like five, 10 oh, seconds no. sometimes. It depends, if you put a lot of glue, blow longer. Like if you accidentally squirt too much out or whatever. So then when I, when I click off of my screen, then my uh, Also, it does dry clear, so don't stress out too much. There's literally no difference. Jesus, I just got a lash lift at work, and so my ends are very curly. It doesn't want to push in my lash yet. Some people, okay, so with the lashes, you can still see the white on my lashes. So I am just going to use this from Maybelline New York Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express. That's a lot of words for a mascara. This mascara, I'm gonna put it on. It's like to. I apologize once again for my boyfriend. I kind of tune him out. So if he says anything bad, bad, I'm sorry. Um, so next, change the subject. What the fuck are you on doing? Two coming behind us right now. <laughs> okay. Here is my beauty blenders and their window holders. This one I use for powder under my eyes on my concealer. This one I use for my foundation and concealer. Well, and uh, you need to get them damp first, so. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back. Okay, so now that my beauty blenders are damp, next I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm just gonna speak up a little bit so you don't have to hear all that. No offense to him. I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything. But okay, so I use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I use the Bronze Beige and Original Matte. Um, I mix them together because I can never buy the right shade because I'm. I just, so I just like wipe like a thing of each of them on my hand, like right here. Blend it together with my beauty blender. <laughs> now it's all blended. You can't see it because the light. Okay, so now I'm just gonna. Oh, don't want to do my dark hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna start patting it in, blending it. Um, Tanya, I was gonna tell you something. Oh, I'm not using any filter on any of this um i don't because i'm new into video editing plus i don't think that's fair um like to, to make a video like let us see what it really looks like it's creating unrealistic expectations so like as you can see like my uh foundation's just blending in with this little mask that i had going can you see yep see there's one in the way I was not living for that lighting anymore. So next I'm gonna go in with my um, camo, the hydrating camo concealer, satin finish, and where you conceal is I'll go like this, kind of make it like this, and like this, like this, and this. Oh, and like this, and maybe a little like this. 
tea. And then you blend. Um, so when you're blending, make sure you're tapping. Do not smear because I don't I don't know why. Just 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 don't do it, okay? It makes it not look good, not blended, right? Sorry, it's just really hard to get used to doing this on the camera. Plus, I switched angles to be in front of my window for some natural lighting. So once window. you're done blending that in, you get to use the baby sponge. I use, which I need to get more of, the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. It looks like this. And then you pop it open in some white powder. And I just kind of dab this. And then I tap it. Do smear it. My bad, my phone's about to die. And so you're gonna put this powder everywhere that you put concealer. And I'm just gonna let that sit there and I'm gonna start my bronzer. I love bronzer, like I wish I was more tan and so bronzer is like definitely one of my favorite things. Sorry, I use Physician's Formula, but a bronzer, it smells so good. It smells like sunscreen kinda, which kinda smells like coconuts and I love the smell of coconuts. So first I just go in. I don't know why that's my starting point, but it is. And then I blend it up into the forehead. And like the brushes, I feel like the brush for me is big enough with the portions of my face for me to just let that be where it goes, you know? I don't have to go really any farther down than what the brush does on my forehead because my uh, concealer is right there. Just blend it, blend it, blend it. You don't want any harsh lines with bronzer. You're gonna look weird. Just in case, always blend your bronzer into your neck so you don't look crazy. I'm trying to get a bunch of blue So next you go on with blush. I use the slanted thing. Slanted thing, the slanted brush. And I'm gonna use my Create Your Own color pop. There we go. And I'm gonna now, use I'm this blush. It's like blush. I love this palette. I know the time recommend color pop in general. So you just blend like this. If you want a sun kissed look, which isn't really what I'm going for, you just blend it way into the cheeks and then even on the tip of your nose a little bit. Just for the record. Depending on how much you want. I really like to blend mine up into like by my hairline kind of. Now to best part, highlighters. I like to use a fan brush for my cheeks. Um, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Made Glow what, Precious Petals. Um, it better be super bright because I want a big highlight today. So if your highlight it doesn't really show up or you feel like you want it brighter, you can also spray it with the fan brush. Oh geez, that's actually pretty, pretty good. I really got it on today. When I say spray it with the fan brush, I'm gonna spray it with the Mario Badescu or like any like toner that you have, just spray it. So that's what I use for my cheek. And for the rest of my highlighter, I use this little square looking brush. I don't even know what kind of brush it is, but I think it works perfectly. And I just kind of make a little circle on the tip of my nose and then I kind of bring it up here. Then I will put it under the arc, arch. I don't know, those words confuse me. Arc, arch. Just right under there. I'm sorry. And last but not least, I'm gonna do the douche in the cupid spot. That's my favorite. I just really just kind of just rub it over it, and it just highlights it for me. One Notice how as my <laughs> as I start getting my makeup more done, I'm like before I end the section. That's it. Thumb, 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 thumb. Oh, for one of my favorite places to highlight also is um, I'm using this e.l.f. Uh, small precision brush and I Oh, I already put the highlighter away. Okay. So, I'm just gonna put it in there and I'm gonna dab my inner corner. Since the makeup goes up pretty high, I'm just gonna take that up pretty high. I love an inner eye highlight. I'm hungry. Okay. Decided that's not enough highlight. It's just not showing up good enough, so I'm gonna go with my all time favorite highlight so far in my life. Don't mind all the clothes in my bed and that I left my closet open. And I'm gonna have to fix this eyelash because it's coming up. 
love that. Okay, Ofra. It says Madison Miller, so I don't know if this is like a line. Sea Shimmer. Love it. Okay, let's see if you guys can tell the difference. I mean, look at that. My camera is poopy, but I will be getting a new phone soon. And yeah, it's much better, girl. Let me fix this eyelash. I'll be back. Okay, so next we're going to do brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia brow brush and then my Anastasia the brow pomade in shade dark brown. But I only use this for some of my eyebrow. So first I outline my brow. This is so hard to do on camera. But the key is the top. So I only go to like right here when I'm lining the top so that I can do the ombre effect at the front of my brow. So I'll do this to both brows and then I will fill this part in. So now that I have them filled in like this, I'm gonna go in with my brow bar by Rima, I think it says. I'm not sure, but I just go in with this dark brown powder. You could literally use dark brown eyeshadow. I used to fill in with my brows with that. So I just, I noticed that there's a little bit of a patch, you know? So I'll fill that in, but also the ombre. So you go like this. I just bring it up from the bottom and just try to blend it. Sometimes you can try to change the direction of your brush, kind of make it look more natural. And then if I don't like that I got it up a little too high, I usually just try to like buff it out with this. Yeah. Now I'm gonna use this little brush, it's a flat brush. And then I'm just gonna literally do it right Bro, but check out your ADR yellow. yellow. It's literally barely higher oh, than this. So what does my, that say? It's not serious, I guess. Two. And check your ADR out, yellow. Perfect. Then I'm just gonna put bottom mascara. And guess what we're going in with? Jeffree Star Lip Velour Liquid Lipstick Shade Delicious. And I love Jeffrey's lipstick, not only for the fact that it lasts and it's amazing, but it's like shaped like for your lip. I kind of wipe it off a little bit because I got little baby lips. And it just really goes right on. I don't really use this shade that much because I've, I've been doing really colorful looks. Girl, I am feeling like a bad bitch. But I actually <laughs> brushed my hair and now look at it. It's like hair problems. So, ew. So now I'm going to do something with my hair and then we will go over the finished. Okay, so I am dying because I ordered this hair. Ponytail extension on eBay for $10 and I'm kind of looking for it right now. I mean, if you're looking for a long term use one, this would definitely not be it. Too, but, okay. I wish my hair was perfect. Like, who is she? Oh, okay. You guys will learn that I have an eBay problem. And I order a lot of stuff on there, like pound bags of dehydrated marshmallows. Overall, I really enjoyed this look. I had a really fun time doing it. Let me know in the comments if you try it out. Like, subscribe, give me a follow on Instagram, Twitter, and add me on Snapchat. Thank you guys for viewing.